Okay, uh, remember that the, this sequence should not be changed. The first one. Okay, we need to adjust the pi, which is uh, about the big z axis. And the second one, we change the angle theta about the small x axis. And last one, we rotate about the z axis uh, to an angle sign. So we need to maintain this sequence one, two, three, so that we can get the standard uh, answer according to the. Uh, yes, we want to get the standard uh, standard equation. So we just need to follow this sequence. So right now, if we look at this uh, this final diagram. You can see that uh, upon the small z axis, which is the spin axis, the this top is symmetrical. Therefore, uh, we can consider it uh, the rotation is uh, negligible. Or to simplify our calculation, we can ignore this uh, rotation. So if we look at this equation, uh, this one, the omega, the big omega is equal to the rotation for precision and rotation for nutrition only. So we go into details. So, so in terms of Euler's angle uh, theta, we can get this equation. So this is the angular velocity upon the small x axis, y axis, and z axis. So just uh, you don't have to remember this, but you just need to understand. So this is the upon uh, small x axis. This is the uh, why we have trigonometry because uh, we are considering uh, angle. Which, uh, so that's why we we need to. So this is the angle, uh, angular velocity of uh, y axis. So we, we uh, it has relation with the theta, and also for the z axis, we are considering this, this, uh, <coughs> this rotation, the psi and also the pi. But uh, just like I said before, we don't have to consider this one. Uh, since the motion of the axis is not affected by the spin, so we can remove this one. So we get this equation. Okay, now we go next. Now we consider the moment of inertia. Uh, <coughs> so moment about x and y, x x i x and i y y is equal to i. And i z z we consider it as i z. Mm -hmm. 